Tonight we're taking a look inside training police officers receive about when and how to use a stun gun. Last month, a Wapaka County Sheriff's deputy used a taser on an 85-year-old veteran named Edward Bruner. Fox 11 has reported on the incident and has brought you multiple views. It's excessive force, I mean, simply said. Edward Bruner's grandson and other family members believe a Wapaka County Sheriff's deputy acted too aggressively when he used his stun gun on Bruner. Bruner's family says he's a World War II veteran who has dementia. Police reports say Bruner was walking around near the Wisconsin Veterans Home at King and followed some but not all of a deputy's directions and that he was combative. A witness who saw the incident disagrees with that description. This gentleman was walking very slowly, very stiff. He's an 85-year-old man. What is he going to do to an officer, a young officer? It, it was totally appalling, very appalling. Like I said, I had to fight back tears because this man was abused. The Wapaka County Sheriff's Department has refused to speak on camera about the incident, but tells Fox 11 it reviewed the deputy's actions and found that he was in line with department policy. The department also says the deputy took the probes out of the gun, delivering less of an impact than if he'd left the cartridge in. After the deputy used the stun gun, Bruner received a psychological evaluation and was kept at a mental health center for a couple of days, which caused him to miss his wife's funeral. So what we're looking at tonight is how police officers are trained for using tasers. Fox 11's Becky DeVries has another view. When it comes to electronic control devices, commonly known as tasers, you probably have a picture in your mind. One of the best known taser incidents happened a few years ago when former presidential candidate John Kerry was speaking in Florida. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me. Many law enforcement officials themselves get tased. Taser, taser, taser. And sometimes reporters get tased. Aside from getting your attention on television, ah. what is the purpose of a taser? To overcome the threat of active resistance or uh, active resistance. Lieutenant Todd Peters is the use of force coordinator for the Appleton Police Department. And yes, he has been on the other end of a taser. It's an overwhelming sensation where your body locks up and you fall to the ground. And you don't want to fight. Peters doesn't know the details of the tasing that happened near the Wisconsin Veterans Home at King a few weeks ago, so he didn't want to comment specifically on that. However, he did tell us tasers are designed to avoid injury. Most officers take an eight-hour training class on tasers every two years, and they are one of the tools available. He says when an officer gets a call here, she has to evaluate many factors when deciding how to deal with the situation. Age is only one of those factors. We are dealing uh, more and more with um, individuals who are elderly, who are suffering from dementia, who have a hard time communicating with us, who exhibit violent outbursts, and who I have witnessed be violent with caretakers, violent with police. And if we use other conventional police tactics in order to control them, you are going to have significantly more injury to them to the officers and the people that, they're, that are there to take care of them. In the police report on the Wapaka County incident, the deputy says he took the cartridge off the taser, then activated the taser on the man's back. This is what a taser looks like without a cartridge. Peter says it has less of an impact and covers less of the body than a taser with a cartridge in it. The tighter the spread, the less area, the less skeletal muscle that's being affected, now, Fox 11 has contacted the, the Wisconsin Department of Veterans Affairs about the taser being used on Bruner. The department will not comment on the specifics of this case, but tells us since the incident, it has been working with the Alzheimer Association and the Wapaka County Sheriff's Department to schedule joint training sessions on, quote, specific handling, specifically handling challenging situations involving people with dementia.